Every year when September arrives, we feel a deep, almost magnetic pull to the west. That indefinable need to look up at the mountains, knowing full well the physical challenge they represent, but conscious of the incredible animals that inhabit them. They are up there. The smell of sage and the sound of quaking aspen leaves rustling in the wind. The pull of pack straps against your shoulders and the deep, dry breaths trying to draw as much oxygen from the thin air as possible. These are the things we dream of. These are the things that bring us back every year to mountain country. We go to mountain country to revel in God's incredible creation, to test ourselves in our knowledge and ability, to push beyond our comfort zone and see what lies just past it. We take everything with us when we climb. Our dreams, our knowledge, our hours of practice, our hopes, even the love of our family. And we climb. We climb to get in among the elk. We climb to leave the pressure of the world behind and simplify our focus. We climb to shed distraction and to remember who we are. It's funny to hear people talk about conquering a mountain just because they climbed it. The mountain doesn't care if you've walked it, and within a few short days, any sign of your presence is washed away by wind and weather. But the mountain remains. We're so grateful for the chance to hunt the mountains, and we recount the stories of our hunts, not in inches of antler, but in miles of ground we walked and pounds of meat we packed off the hill. We speak with a hushed reverence of the animals we hunt and look back at the miles we've walked with gratitude and humility. But to begin, you need only take a deep breath, look up, and take the first step. Welcome to Mountain Country. You know, when you come out west, it, it's certainly a, first of all, it's a humbling experience, no doubt, and it's a, it's a, it's a point of solitude no matter what you do. I mean, you're, you're glassing, it's quiet, you're, you're looking at this vast expanse world that is so different from what I'm used to. You know, I'm a, a Midwest whitetail hunter, and when you come out to a place like this and you, you experience it, you quickly are, are put in your place. Elk hunting takes a full commitment. Your mind, your heart, your conditioning, your will. If you don't have those things all lined up properly, you're, you find yourself in a compromising position on many fronts. Because the elk, you know, we look at some of these mountains and that elk climbs a mountain in three seconds flat and just pulls out. And you spend hours and days chasing these animals up and down these ridges. And there's a true, true, sense of accomplishment when you can just physically stay with them. We picked out a bull uh, on this opposing face of the, of the one mountain and we decided well we'd make it that attempt and it was getting late in the afternoon and knowing the commitment we had then to go down and up that next mountain and get to the top it was 50-50 at best and so while you're working hard to get there you're giving it your all and, and making every right move you think you can make. There's still no guarantees. You know, you're unsure, but when we got to the top, uh, as soon as we crested it, he was standing there. And it was like a gift. <laughs> That's all I can say, it was like a gift.
So after the shot, you know, the bull went out there, stood about 60 yards, and we knew it was hurt bad. We, we could see where the hit was. We knew it was a good hit. He started to walk off a little bit. There was just a little ridge. And uh, that last 100 yards seemed like five miles. I stayed with that bull all the way to the ridge top. And it, it was like I had tunnel vision. Everything around me, the whole world, had stopped. And I was looking through a tunnel at that bull. And that walk to that bull was such a special time. And when I got there, it, it, was, it was almost like you're levitating. You're walking on air. You just have that sense of accomplishment and pride. In the end, the marks you leave on the mountain are fleeting. But the marks the mountain leaves on you last a lifetime. That is mountain country.